Hello everyone and welcome to this video. So today it is April 1st, which means that it is April Fools. If you played SSO today, you probably noticed that nothing special happened because Star Stable has sadly discontinued April Fools as well as many other events because they just don't feel like they fit in the SSO world anymore, which is honestly quite sad. I think April Fools in SSO was always quite interesting, you know, it was something to log on for and I'm honestly very disappointed that they discontinued it. I really hope that they change their mind in the future. Anyway, I thought that I would just go over all of the April Fools that we had throughout the years because a few days ago I was actually checking out some old pictures that I had on my old computer and I found some pictures from April Fools like seven years ago, something like that. Again, it was just a really fun day in SSO and there were, you know, quite a few fun things to do. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video as always and if you do, make sure to subscribe, it really means a lot and now let's get into it. So I'm pretty sure the first April Fools happened in the year 2013. I haven't been able to find anything from 2012, so I doubt anything happened that year. But anyway, in 2013, Star Stable brought a magic bunny to the game. The magic bunny was located in the Nilmer's Highland and it basically changed the color of your starter horse to a very fun and colorful coat. There were quite a few different options and different, you know, mane and tail and body color combinations. I think it was just so fun. This year, compared to some of the other ones later on, were kind of simple, but I still think it was a really nice update for them to do. And I think all of the colorful coats were just so fun and, you know, it was just a really nice addition. Then in 2014, the magic bunny was back again. This time it was at Steve's farm, but I'm not sure if it was also at the Nilmer's Highland. If I had to guess, it probably was, since I doubt SSO would want to exclude non-star riders. So it came back this year with all of the special coats from the previous year, as well as some new additions, such as the rainbow coat, the pink one with hearts, and the galaxy one, which were probably the most iconic and the most popular. I know I really liked the rainbow one. 
I just think it looks so nice but pink one and the galaxy one were actually also quite nice and honestly I just wish I had more pictures of it but I guess I'm just gonna live vicariously through those old videos. Twenty fifteen was pretty much the same as the previous year. SSO brought back the bunny with all of the special codes. Not much changed, they just tweaked some of the codes and made them look a little bit better, but again, that was about it. Twenty sixteen was a bit different. SSO did bring back all of the special codes as well as the bunny, but there was also something new, and that is a special, extremely overpowered horse called the Super Shire. The Super Shire was located in Fort Pinta. It cost only twenty five star coins, but the player level requirement was level 1205. You had to be super popular in Fort Pinta. The breed stats were 612 in speed, 987 in strength, 
58 in discipline, 112 in endurance, and 612 in agility. And this was the breed description of the Super Shire. The Super Shire is an unusual and exclusive horse breed that James's very best friend can buy. It's said that the Super Shire came to be after a boat carrying dangerous toxic waste ran aground close to a stable known for training top quality Shire horses. As a result, the Super Shire started to develop its incredibly large, strong and fast qualities. The Super Shire has trouble jumping because of its size, but what does that matter when it's strong enough to just run straight through most obstacles? Here at Star Stable headquarters, we noticed how much you all loved the Shire horse when it was released, but that some of you wanted it to be bigger. This is why we're releasing the Super Shire just for you. This was my first April Fools in SSO and I remember I wasn't that good at English at that time so I was so confused as to why I can't buy this horse even though I have enough star coins. I was really excited because this would have been my first like the first horse that I ever bought so I was I was just so confused. But yeah, after a while I did figure out that it was just an April Fools joke. Honestly, I think this one was really good and I really wish that SSO would, you know, just do something like this again. In 2017, the bunny came back yet again with all of the special codes. The bunny was really a staple of the April Fools. And I mean, who can blame SSO? I think the special codes were honestly so fun. And, but anyway, in 2017, we also got an artificial Power Raptor Intelligence Logic. This basically meant that a really small version of Raptor would just follow you around as you played and made some funny comments. Star Sable said this about it, Star Sable is proud to present the artificial Power Raptor Intelligence Logic System. After years of development, Star Sable's most advanced feature is finally here, the artificial Power Raptor Intelligence Logic System. Work on the artificial Power Raptor Intelligence System has taken a long time, but it's been worth it using the artificial Power Raptor Intelligence intelligence logic system you will be able to complete your missions more quickly and efficiently to gain more xp money and reputation press the button below to activate the artificial raptor Int intelligence logic system this is a really special day and we wish all players best of luck and i mean what can i say the raptor assistant was really helpful i really loved his wings and i just wish he stayed to be honest <laughs>
in 2018, Star Stable gave everyone a massive head and here is the reason why. They said, have you ever gotten stuck trying to decide on a hairstyle because you were unable to see if it matched your eye color? Want to get a detailed look at those cool new earrings you just bought or get a hat to match your makeup? Many of you have been asking for the ability to get a decent close-up on your character's face and we always listen to what you wish for. Today, we're proud to present a new feature designed to help all of our style conscious players out there coordinate their hair and makeup more easily. No more zoom in to check if your lipstick is on point. This feature was made with your convenience in mind. We hope you'll love it as much as we do. Hugs, Star Stable team. Twenty nineteen was the year of car stable online. Basically, your horse would transform into a car and you'd be able to drive around your week in your little car. There were quite a few different color options for the car. Star Stable also posted a video about car stable online. I am disgusted with Team SSO and ugly purple horses. The nostrils look stupid. Please, free star coins. Lately SSO has been really boring, even for me. And the horses look like skinny cows. Horses are L A M lame. Making horses is so difficult. I, I just can't do it anymore. Maybe they're right. It just feels hopeless. You don't even make the horses. What are you doing here? Something has to be done. But what? We have the solution! We at Carstable are proud to announce that we are facing out our horses one by one and replacing them with these sweet babies. <laughs> Forget about stable care. No more vets. Just hop on in and vroom, vroom, vroom into the sunset. We understand that this may come as a shock to some of you guys, but we promise you that this will be so much cooler. And to make the transition a little bit easier, we are giving everyone a free car! Yes, you heard that right, a free car! To start off your new adventure here at Car Stable. You get a car! You get a car! You get a car! You, get a car. you sir, you get a car! And you get a car! Car Stable will not cover insurance for any possible accidents that may occur while driving Car Stable cars. All negative feedback will be ignored. No refunds. Peace out. Hey, <laughs> hey!
2020 was the last year of April Fools on Star Stable, which is honestly very sad. And this was the year of Small Stable Online, which basically meant that you yourself and your horse would shrink down to a very, very small size, Star Stable said, in an effort to reduce our carbon footprint, all of Jorvik's horses have been shrunk to a convenient and eco-friendly size. We hope this effort will please our environmentally conscious players and provide exciting new gameplay as a miniature horse. Welcome to Small Stable. Again, this was the last year of April Fools, which is very sad. It's now been three years without it and I miss it every year. I really hope SSO brings it back in the future. But anyway, let me know which April Fools was your favorite. Do you miss it? or do you not really care at all? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed as always and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye!